Hello everyone, this is Pepper Favetti. Welcome back for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we discovered the entrance to the Temple of Time and discovered a secret room where Uku was headed. I don't want to warp, I just want to kill this uh, Karg Rock and transform into Wolf. I decided to start this, uh, this episode off by showing a couple of poses that you can get. Uh, like right over here in Hyrule, Hyrule Field. You can get this one right in the middle, uh, right in the middle of the Hyrule Field, right above the Faron Province. And uh, now I want to warp. Warp, please. I want to warp back into the Sacred Grove because inside of the Sacred Grove, there's yet another Poe. We're gonna leave Epona over here. There's going to be yet another Poe. So. Hello. Right where you found the Master Sword. That's why uh, last episode I told you it was not nighttime and that we would come back when it was. This here Poe Soul. Uh, Poe Imp. Uh, sorry. So there's two Poe Souls there just to begin the episode off. And now we're going to go inside of the Temple of Time. Uh, also, in the last episode, we finished off the bug, the golden bug side quest, which is one of the collect, collect stuff uh, side quests. No, I don't want to drop off there. Thank you. And we're going to go into the Temple of Time dungeon. Uh, I don't know why we can see the snail over there, but we can. So we're going to go into the Temple of Time's dungeon through this door. So yeah, the, the other part that I was talking about the last episode that was like from the Temple of Time that there was a secondary part that we never knew of in Ocarina of Time is going to be introduced in this episode. It's going to be the Temple of Time's dungeon. That's where Uku went, of course. Where there's Uku, there's dungeon. So uh, we're gonna go upstairs right over here. We, uh, if you remember, we clinked our sword in here in the pedestal of time and over here goes whoosh. And we enter a temple. So spooky. So spooky music. So as you can see over here. Ooh. So old school looking. This is the Temple of Time. Dungeon. So, uh, starting off the temple, we're gonna come over, uh, fight Navi, we're gonna come over here, oh, many losing frames, so overheating my computer. Don't you think there's something odd about the statue? In the grove and in the temple entry, there were always matching ones on each side, but there's only one here. Why don't you use your senses to take a look around? As if I had senses as a human, so we're gonna go transform into wolves. And if we come over here, we see this one, but if we come over here in this side, there's going to be this hologram of it. Come over here. I knew it! There was one more here originally. We need to find the other statue in this temple that matches that one. So yeah, that's going to be the main uh, the main mechanic in this dungeon of it. We're going to go find a statue. Yes, we're going to go find a statue. So we must put something over here in order for that little ledge to go up. So now that we can go up over here and over here because from the other side the stairs are broken. So I don't really want to break that. So Uku, um, not so fast. At first, this is it. This is where I've been trying to get to. The ancient technology of our people sleeps in this place. But we'll search all over right now, where's the gold? I can't smell it! Once we find that thing, we can go home at last. Oh gracious, yes. Um, <coughs> Jungmon, we're so close, so please help us to find what we're looking for. And we're reunited with Iku. Iku? <laughs> yes, according to my boys, uh, how I made it this time, it's going to be Iku. So we're reunited with Iku and his uh, her son she god so yeah we're gonna be helping them find their item their precious precious item oh we need a key 
Oh, right over here. Uh, forgot. And I just forgot how to talk English too, apparently. So I don't want my bottle out there. Oh dear. I want this and this lit up. Oh, there. That will make a chest. A magic chest. Magic little pretty chest up here. So, what? I want sea chest. There we go, small key. So, let me just come over here. I think I'm losing a lot of frames, I don't know why. This computer overheats so very fast. I need a new, a new, I need a new. This here new enemy, I, I actually don't know the name of it. But you can actually flip it with your attack. But I missed to do that, so apparently we're not getting to see that right away. There's also another way you can flip it, but we're gonna be searching for that way in this dungeon. So over here you want this pot to come over here, that will open all gates. First you wanna come over to this gate and get what's inside of this chest, which is going to be... Arrows! Why you want arrows? Well, I don't know. If you come over here, there's going to be yet another one. And can I? There. Um, if you come over here, you can use those arrows or your claw shot to actually destroy the the stuff, the the jar, so that that happens and you can proceed. There's gonna there's gonna be Lysalfos over here. Uh, Lysalfos? Yes. Um, Yes, I don't think there's Dynalfos. No, I can finish him off. You too. Go die in a hole. There you go. That's dying in a hole for you. So over here there's going to be another little chest which will contain... Red rupees! Rupees! And over here keys! I don't like you. New enemy over here too. This one over here is an Armos, Armos Knight. You can actually just do, excuse me, do that. No, there, do this. You'll get hurt really, um, most of the time you'll get hurt, but there's there will be some other times that you won't, so. You can try that, or you can try your arrows, I think, to blast the, the hole in its back, which is really hard because it will always try to face you. Or you can also try bombs. So, we got a dungeon map already. We're gonna try it out, but first off, we want to eliminate all the keys over here in this room. Oh, I suck. There's one. There's the other one. Oh, crap. 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 What kind of person am I that I just use up all of my arrows without hitting a single keys? Anyways, we've got one of these over here. We need the other one over there too. Just gotta have one in, on each side. One on each side. There we go. This door will open. You can actually come back whenever you want with your hook shut. Um... Die, keys. Just don't like you. And we got to a door. Nice little door. Going through the door, we get to a giant circular room, which is going to be kind of like the main hub for this first part of the dungeon. Uh, no, no, no not over there. There's a Lysophos over here. Dumb ass. Dumb ass. There's two Lysophos. And you kill both. Almost at the same time. And there's another one here. There, like that. Kill them. Uh, over here there's going to be a pole, but we cannot get to it. You will pretty much want to eliminate all the Lysalfos around this place. Ow! I, I was hoping I could do the jump thing. But, okay. So, got that. And a Beemos. Uh, Beemos, Beemos, Beemos. Modern looking Beemos. Uh, for as for that matter, uh, we only have jars in here, so not a lot to get, not a lot to get, but 
Okay, we cleared out this part of the room. We cannot get inside of that. What? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You can kill a softlush right like that. But I just don't know what the hell was he doing over there. Okay. Even though, uh, you get over here, you will need your spinner. Over here, I don't want my lamp anymore. Spinner. Spinner your way through this gap in the stairs. And you will get yourself over to this little platform over here. You try to cross over that door, there's going to be a lock. Try to come over here, though. There's going to be this. You need two. Two stuffs. And inside of that room, I mean, there's going to be one over here that you can carry all the way over here if you want. And you can ow. Yes, you can ow. And you can come over here to the center of this room. Again, ow. And come to the center now. You can pull this thing or push it in order to go downwards yay when you do that you get over here we only need this right now we only need this so put it over here we're gonna pull it we're gonna pull it back to its normal place now that it's over here you want to pick this up and you want to go all the way around now let me see where do I hit it okay I don't get hit from here, I guess. Whoa, jeez, yes, I do. From both sides. Okay, and put this thing up again. Now, really, thing you gotta take in mind. Over there, you have two seconds to get into the platform because it would rise very high, you cannot reach it. Afterwards, you come over into this room. Whoop. What's that? There's going to be... Armos, so we're gonna I'm gonna teach you how to kill Armos with your bombs. I want to get rid of my boomerang right here really quickly. So you first off coming to the back. Take your bombs out and shoot them my way at the Armos. You wanna keep the Armos in the same spot so that it hits the Armos, but I failed over there. Like that. You wanna keep the Armos in the same spot. And that's it, that's how you kill an Armos. Afterwards, you go nuts. And also, you can use your arrows, which is a little bit harder. You're gonna, you want to get out of their reach, then they'll go, tr they'll try to go back to their normal place. And you just have to shoot them once. Oh, you have to shoot them twice, actually. I did not know that. So yeah, uh, killing them with your arrows is not so practical. Yeah, that's it. That's everything you gotta do. For now. For now. Inside of this chest there's a red rupee and with the killing of both uh, armos, my neck cracks. And there's going to appear a chest over there and the door is going to open. So, a uh, really nice room. We're going, you're, we're coming back to this room actually later on in the dungeon but for now we're only getting this a small key so afterwards don't really have any use for this uh, uh, for this room right now we're going we're going to come back we we are, we are going into the other side of the room of this room particularly because if you remember there was a door that needed the key okay this is one of the most special dungeons I've I've played through because um, even even the name has a nostalgia feel to it, but the rest of the dungeon feels so tech-like. It's like real ancient civilizations were building this, and it really feels like it. There is the first armos, and as you can see, there's going to be walls blocking the way. This first one you can actually hit with your sword, and I hit twice: one during the cutscene, one during the not cutscene and let's come over here you shoot the thing from over here you can actually shoot it with uh, you can actually hit it with your claw shot I think if not uh, 
Just let me know in the comments that I am mistaken. There you go, hit it again, like a Sims, a Sims object, a Sims, a pretty Sims object, and I don't really need the jars, I mean the bases, I don't need to break them right now. Oh, come on, come on, come on, uh, did I break it? Yes, I did. Then I go past, right over here there's another chest that you can open, inside of this treasure chest there will be... The compass of the dungeon. So now we will know where the treasure chests are located. And outside of this, there's more bases. And we are going with our bow. We're going to shoot the green thing again. The sim symbol, we're going to change into a red sim symbol. And we're going through this little place. Oh my god. Frames, so many frames. The Salfos. Oh jeez. There you go. Goodbye, Lysalthos. There's going to be a, a, a Dianthos? This is... Where... I, I forgot which are which were the Dianthos in this game. Because there's... Oh, this is called Lysalthos. 